This is Cruise News Today with Doug Parker. Good morning. Here's your cruise news for Thursday, November 30th. Norwegian Cruise Line recently celebrated the christening of the Norwegian Viva in Port Miami. Christened by musician Louis Fonzi, Norwegian Viva's godfather, he officially named and christened the ship with the ceremonial bottle of champagne breaking across the ship's hull, which signifies good fortune and safe travels for all who sail on board. The celebration follows the Norwegian Viva's debut in August and its summer inaugural season in the Mediterranean. Now, next month, Viva will reposition to San Juan, its new home port, and it'll stay there from December to March. And several guests who booked on Royal Caribbean's Quantum of the Seas for an eight-night South Pacific cruise from Brisbane were unexpectedly denied boarding due to overbooking. Now, this was because they had guarantee staterooms, which shouldn't have happened, by the way. On Tuesday, these guests who had booked cabins without specific stateroom numbers received letters when they arrived at the terminal, informing them of the lack of available cabins. The cruise ship, which can accommodate up to 4,900 guests, offered various alternatives. These included remaining on a standby list with the possibility of sailing and receiving a $100 onboard credit or a full refund and a 25% future cruise credit if no cabin became available. Other options were also offered like switching itineraries for sailing on a different date and so on. Now, despite some guests being accommodated on that standby list last minute, others were left behind because of the overbooking issue. This isn't the first time Royal Caribbean has experienced this. Wonder of the Seas also experienced overbookings in Port Canaveral earlier this year. And getting off the cruise ship faster, Carnival Cruise Line is testing a new debark process with their Carnival Hub app. This new system is called Digital Debark, and it lets guests choose their debark time and request luggage tags through the app, which are then delivered to their staterooms. This method is currently being tested on four ships and aims to make the debark process a lot smoother and less crowded. Now, guests who prefer to carry their own luggage or those in the VIFP program with priority debark will not be impacted by this new system. This is currently being used on Carnival Dream, Carnival Elation, Conquest, and Spirit, with the plan to eventually expand this service to more ships in the U.S. market. And cruise line stocks were up on Wednesday. Carnival Corporation up 2%, 14.91. Royal Caribbean up slightly, 105.91. And Norwegian up 2.4%, 14.83. If you have a lead on a story, you can send it our way, tips at cruiseradio.net. Breaking news in this week's podcast, a review of the brand new Celebrity Ascent at cruiseradio.net. Have yourself a great Thursday. I'm Doug Parker with Cruise News Today.